Hello again. This is Zero Far Productions. With the Spider-Man Villain Roundup Plug and Play. This is gonna be the second part. We will play Building Blaze. So let's get right into it. The Amazing Spider-Man and Building Blaze. A fire spreading throughout New York. Help Spider-Man save all of the innocent people trapped inside. Joystick. Move Spider-Man. Button A. Jump and swing on web. Button B. Attack or slide. Find all of the innocent people. Rescue them and escape the building before time is up and the building burns down. So this is a timed game and you have to complete each level within a certain time limit. If you do not complete it in the specified time, you will lose a life and you'll have to start all over again. Look out for the collapsing ceilings, floors, and raging fires. Here's some of the power-ups you can get. Collect the Spider-Man icon for an extra life. Collect the first aid kit to regain your energy slash health bar. Collect the shield to become invulnerable to attacks. Collect 100 spider tokens to gain an extra life. So in addition to the Spider-Man icon, you can also collect spider tokens. There are exactly 100 in each level. Collect all, every single spider token you see and you'll get the extra life. Also, collect the time bonus for more time. So that's good to know. Press button A once to jump and again to swing. Press button B to punch through doors. Let's start. Level 1, go for it! So the timer is at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Rescue all of the civilians. So make sure you rescue... Rescue... All the people with the red shirts. Watch out for electrical, be electrical bolts. Just like Bank Strike, you have to watch out for electrics, and except in this case, they're bolts rather than beams. So in this game, you don't have to collect every single civilian, but you should try to collect every single civilian, you see? Oh, sorry, they, I guess some of the civilians have green shirts too. So red shirt and green shirt civilians, please collect them. Rescue them. My goodness. Why do I keep saying collect them? Like they're some sort of object. No, they're people. Rescue them. Yeah, I was saying you don't have to collect every single civilian. You don't have to rescue every single civilian. As you can see, at the, at the bottom right corner, once you have the, the at least a passing amount of civilians rescued the number will turn green and that means you can pass the level but if you collect every single civilian you will get an extra life at the end of the level so it's encouraged come on all 100 tokens collected so an extra life all eight civilians were rescued so we will get an extra life for that too and I'm sorry if I talk too much, it's just that I like to explain things so you can see so you guys can understand what I'm trying to do in this game. Also, before I start the next level, I should warn you, and I should have probably said this before, but I was busy explaining something else, but sometimes you're re you're gonna be required to enter certain rooms or parts of the level before you continue into a different area of the level. Because if you do not go into those rooms slash areas before you may you may get blocked out and you will not be able to return to collect or rescue whatever was in there so make sure you you, you got to know your rooms basically and whoops yeah hopefully we'll get everything as you can see you can't go in there but in this case it's all right because some okay <laughs> I guess I forgot to mention the second part of this, but you saw how I got blocked out of that room? Well, that's not a problem in this case because you do have an opportunity to go into that area later on. So sometimes you have to go into a room before you get blocked out, but in other cases you may get blocked out first, but you will be able to enter the room once again. That's it. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> Come back. Extra life and extra time. Get, yeah, there. 
Yeah, I forgot about the electrical bolts right there. Watch out right here. There's some these are, electrical bolts are a little bit tricky, so get the position just right. Okay, I could have made it, but I guess I just wanted to be safe. Oh yeah. Now, so you can see now, there's stuff that falls on the ground like that. Make sure you actually go under there. That's not a trap. You have to actually enter those regions where the floor falls like that because there's either stuff to get collected or host excuse me, civilians to get rescued. And then later on, you'll also see stuff from falling from the top. So make sure you don't get hit by the stuff that, fa that falls from the top. There's the stuff that falls from the top, so watch out for that. So as you can see right there, I had to go under there in order to rescue that civilian. Extra time. Usually that portion with the electrical bolts right there is pretty tricky to do without getting health damage just because of the placement and of the timing. But in this case we're okay. You actually can't use those first two exits down there so that's why I have to go to the top. Also you do have to collect the other spider tokens up there to get to 100 and get the extra life. I didn't show it, but if you try to exit through those lower two exits, the, the ceiling falls and you can't go through. So you have to use the top one. Level 3. So I accidentally ran into that blaze fire. But basically that's a new element for level 3 and beyond. You have to deal with fires. That was close. Extra time. Shields, very good. Full health. So here, make sure you go to the left first to rescue the civilian and get some extra time. Because you can see, you cannot go back. Once you go in here, you can't go back to get that. do that but then that happens so watch out nope couldn't do that so I knew there was a bolt right there but I couldn't escape it so you can see the, the top oh well you can't see it pretty well right now but 
I can't go in that room anymore, so it was a good thing we did that first. The same thing happens in here. Go in here first before you go to the other parts of the, of the map, because that will close too. And I think I might have missing stuff up there. Yes, I did. So let's go back and get them. Just two spider tokens, not too bad. Hmm. So that closed, so I can go back into that room as you, as you saw. But the good thing is that clear. Extra life, very good. Shield, ooh. 100 tokens collected and 19 out of 19 hostages. Civilians re rescued. I keep, I keep thinking of bank strike because they use hostages rather than civilians. Alright. Level 5, excuse me, level 4. damage watch out now because in level four we have a new element you have those little gas sprays excuse me gas leaks they spray gas like that so watch out don't hit them or touch them they will hurt you back there anymore well actually you could if you go to the top but no nope, never mind it does close so watch out don't get yourself locked out that was a close one we could have gotten hit one more civilian to get rescued watch out there too There we go. Whoa. Dang it. That's it for level four. Level five. were unsuccessful we do have first aid kit up there so that's good nope useless I was still injured
Watch out right here because level five new elements for level five. You get those exploding ovens. Great. Well done, game complete. So that's it for building plays. Only five levels just like Bank Strike, but this one is actually takes less time to complete. Not even 20 minutes. So everything on one single video file, which is great. No high scores once again. The highest score I've gotten, 151,510 points. I did not actually look at the high score before finishing the, the dang level. I should have. Dang it. But you probably saw it, so just go back. Go back to the end of level 5 and then you should see it. Yeah, not enough for a new high score. So there you go, Building Blaze is done. Hope you enjoyed this second part of the Spider-Man Bell and Roundup plug and play. Up next, Incendiary Antics for part 3. So please stay tuned. I hope you will enjoy the, the upcoming games and God bless.